Doc is gone. T. Lou is in. You know, me playing for that team and still being close to some people on the uh, uh, on the uh, business side of it. You know, you heard there was some rumblings in the locker room and, and, and stuff was a little rougher than we thought it would be. Mm -hmm. um, you guys seem to make it work and, 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 and put it together as much as you can. What do you guys feel like, obviously, with the letdown of last season? What are we in store for this upcoming season, personally from you, but from a team as a whole? For me, you know, because a lot, a lot of people, like, don't know, I work out and I train hard every summer, right? This was the first summer I wasn't able to do that because I had, or the, this past summer going into last season, was the first summer that I wasn't able to do that because I had shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. So I missed a whole summer of training. And so when I came back, the team was already, you know what I mean, rolling. rolling. They already got, you know what I mean, we started off okay, but we didn't start off as well as we wanted to. But I feel like they already had a little chemistry going. And so when I came into the mix. What is going on with y'all, man? What up, champ? You already know what it is. We still celebrating the 2020 NBA champions, the Los Angeles Lakers, the mighty Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, but that's what this video is. It's not about the Lakers. This is about the Los Angeles no chip clips. And what I find interesting about all of this news that's popping out with the Clippers, it's funny to me, man. Real funny to me. Now they want to come out with all of the damn excuses or the reasons why they didn't um, win the championship this year. And, you know, everybody had them as the best team in the NBA. Just blatantly lying to the public. You know what I'm saying? Trying to create this bullshit narrative for a team that ain't never won shit. You know what I mean? Like, I kept telling people all year, the Clippers are not going to the fucking NBA Finals. I kept telling people the Clippers wasn't going to the Western Conference Finals. But no, everybody kept <laughs> everybody kept running with the Clippers and LeBron James point shaving in games against the Clippers that he could have won. Um, you know, just to make it seem like, oh, they a threat. They was never a goddamn threat and they won't be a threat next year. You know what I mean? Um, Kawhi Leonard showed to me that he's not a leader. And Paul George just basically let me know that he's just full of excuses and bullshit. I mean, he did this with the Indiana Pacers when he was there. Talking about he ain't never leaving. Where LeBron James was whipping his ass up and down the goddamn basketball court in the playoffs. Then he goes over there to OKC and he gets beat down by Dame Lillard. Lame Lillard at that. You know what I mean? Another guy that liked to run his damn mouth and not prove anything. Um... um and then you choke, you choke against the, the, the you come to the Clippers, you did, you choke you choke against Lane Lillard and OKC with Russell uh, Westbrook. And then you come over here to the Los Angeles Clippers and you choke again against the Denver Nuggets, up 3-1. Oh, we didn't have no chemistry. Well, you had chemistry to be up for three, uh, be up three to one. Y'all had chemistry then. But as soon as y'all fall apart, oh, y'all didn't have no chemistry. Get the... Man, miss me with that bullshit, man. That is pure bullshit. Bullshit, you all up on that, uh, all, the, uh, all up in smoke. Just bullshitting your way through that interview, man. I hope, I hope, uh, 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 Steven Jackson seen through that shit. Because that's what I seen. Uh, uh, just a bunch of, a bunch of excuses from a guy who who wants to put himself in a category of the greats and the elites. Like, bro, you a joke, Paul George. You a, you a joke. You over there with Indiana. I don't never want to leave. I want to end my career here. Then you go to OKC. I'm never leaving. I'm staying here until my career ends. Now you with the Los Angeles Clippers, the no-chip Clips. Now you with the no-chip Clips, and you're doing the same damn song and dance, man. Same damn song and dance, man. And it's just funny to me. It's just completely funny to me that these sports media network guys will continue to get up here and lie to the public about the Clippers being this great team. How are they great when they've, they've never done anything great? The greatest... The, 
the only time the Clippers was great was when they had Vinny Del Negro. When they won them, how many games? 57-something games. That's when they were great. Oh, okay. They had a great season. Now, we've been running LA for the last... Y'all ain't been running shit for the last six, the last six years. Stop with the bullshit. Y'all haven't been been running shit in the last six years. Y'all wasn't y'all wasn't uh leading the West. The Warriors were. Y'all wasn't winning championships in the West. The Warriors were. But oh, since y'all get Kawak Leonard, as <laughs> soon as Kawak come over there, you you just y'all just automatically think that y'all just gonna be champions. No, y'all don't have the mental capabilities. Y'all don't have what it takes. Y'all thought Lou Williams coming off the bench and Patrick Beverly, who don't give you shit in games, two points, six fouls. Y'all thought that y'all thought that was a, a, a championship winning recipe. <laughs> What a fucking joke, man. What a joke. What a joke. And I can't wait for, for this 72-game this season next year, man. You know, it's going to be a shortened season. Of course, there might be some players that opt out before uh, for COVID-19. Um, the league let allowed them to do that. The league gave everybody $30 million for COVID relief. You know what I'm saying? So every team got $30 million. Um, congratulations to uh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis signing their contracts stand with the Lakers um, uh, for the remainder of their careers um, and this is a this, this, this is a little side note to all of the uh, Laker haters that want to put out this uh, fake news about Anthony Davis's contract. He should have got more. He's selling himself short. He missing about 40, 50 million dollars. You don't think the Lakers know that? You don't think Anthony Davis know that? Huh? You don't think they know that, man? <laughs> you don't think that the Lakers, the Lakers are, are well aware of, uh, of the money that Anthony Davis is is, is cutting himself out of, out from? You don't think that Anthony Davis and the Lakers are gonna are gonna come up with something so he do get the uh, the full the full wages of what he's worth in the long run? He's not leaving the Lakers, man. So all of y'all thinking that he gonna go back to his hometown in Chicago? Y'all could cut that shit out. He not going. He's not going to Chicago. He just told you guys that he loves it in L.A. and he wants to. He want to remain in L.A. They take good care of his players. <laughs> I mean, shit, after watching the last lie with Michael Michael Jordan, I mean, shit, why would he want to go over there to the Chicago Bulls after seeing that shit? The Lakers take care of their goddamn players, man, and that's what it's all about, creating legacies for their players. You got two of the top two guys in, in, in the top ten of the NBA who already won the championship together ready to go back to back right when Space Jam the new legacy come out like I've been telling y'all this is all a LeBron James script the Clippers are just a narrative to play a role in this whole thing just to have people you know simple minded people that's not really opening their eyes to what's really going on with the NBA and this WWE um it's WWE like um um storylines you know what I mean like this is all for LeBron James that's what it is it's all for LeBron James so all of this Kawak Leonard and Paul George and all of that bullshit and Ty Lue and all man. <laughs> uh, 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 like I, I, I found it hilarious I found it completely hilarious how people were pumping up Zubak <laughs> they were pumping up Zubak. Oh, they got Zubak over there. Zubak. It's the reason why the Lakers let let the young kids go. They weren't. They were not championship material, man. I kept telling y'all, LeBron James need dudes that's in their fifth, sixth, seventh year 
entering into their prime. This is the street. Entering into their prime that's ready to go out there and, and, and know the game. Guys that know the game, that got that that's smart, smart basketball players, good IQ. You don't got time to be out there babysitting, trying to teach dudes how to play basketball during the game when you want to win. You know? He ain't got time for that. The man is about to turn 30. What is he? What was LeBron? 36, 37? He don't got time to be dealing with no 22, 23 year old motherfuckers that don't know how to that don't know how to NBA operate. Ain't taking this shit serious. Ain't training every day. Not coming to practice. He ain't got time for that silly shit. That's what Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers was doing. Thought they had the red carpet rolled out <laughs> on the Clippers. <laughs> what red carpet? Win the championship first before you start trying to do all of this. I'm not coming to practice. I'll show up to the team playing when I'm ready. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't won no championship with the Clippers. So stop acting like you so stop acting like y'all did. Y'all ain't won nothing. Y'all, y'all shoulda, coulda, woulda motherfuckers right now. <laughs> we shoulda took it serious seriously. We coulda took it seriously. I wish we would have took it seriously, but you didn't. You went out there in the bubble talking about you wanted to quit and leave. You didn't want to be in there no more. Montrez was missing time. Patrick Beverly missing time. Lemon Pepper Lou, but y'all up 3-1 against the Denver Nuggets. But y'all don't got no chemistry, huh? That is a bunch of horse shit if I heard any bunch of horse shit that's what that was that's what paul george told me a bunch of horse shit bullshit excuses are the reasons why they couldn't win and we supposed to we supposed to we supposed to so we supposed to show sympathy to these motherfuckers that's what we supposed to do now if it would have been the lakers y'all all, all would have been fucking having memes of lebron james getting crossed up by Mickey Mouse and shit with Kawhi Leonard face on it and all that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all would have been y'all would have been at LeBron and Anthony Davis's head talking shit all day. Talking crap all day. All day. Bashing LeBron all up on social media. But no. When the Lakers win the championship, oh, it don't count. It's an asterisk. But if Kawhi Leonard would have won it, look, he went back to back. He took two teams to the finals and won. <laughs> he did it. He did it twice. He took two teams to the finals and won. LeBron took two, three teams to the finals and won. But y'all don't want to say nothing about that. Whenever it comes to LeBron James, it's just a problem. Like I said, I'm not a LeBron James fan. I just don't hate the guy but you know who should be hating something it should be you clipper fans y'all should be hating y'all fucking self y'all was talking shit all year on social media winning regular season games against the against the lakers but when it come down to getting to the finals and making a name for yourself and making a statement y'all choke it away all you had to do was win one fucking game. Just one game, baby. Just one. One. But y'all couldn't do it, man. Y'all couldn't do it. Y'all lost the NBA money when y'all fell apart against the Denver the Denver Nuggets. You know what I mean? Um, the NBA was pissed off at Kawhi Kawhi Leonard that he didn't win. He didn't. He didn't took the. He didn't took the braids out his hair. <laughs> Kawhi got the dreads now. He had to lay his hair down like, man. And I'm pretty sure Kawhi Leonard is going to try to come back and um, and try to uh, change things around. But I don't think it's going to work, especially with the NBA saying they're not going to stress the players on um, low management. That's why I think LeBron James is probably going show, gonna to show up and play the first couple of games of the season and then take a little break here and there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, these guys didn't get a lot of time to rest. 
especially with guys that went far in the bubble. And those teams that, you know, had to play those eight games and, and win to, to get into the dance, they didn't get it, you know, they got a rest up too. Um, but for what it's worth, man, Clipper fans, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all talked all that shit, and now you got this guy, Paul George, a.k.a. Pandemic P, PG-13, up here with the fucking excuses on why and how they didn't win. I don't want to hear that shit, man. This go, all you had to say was, we wasn't good enough. That's all you had to say. We wasn't good enough. We thought we had a chance, and it just wasn't good enough. I don't want to hear no, oh, I was mentally going through some things and, you know, we didn't have no chemistry. We didn't have no chemistry. And, you know, uh, we, you know, when we was up 3-1, we was like, oh, we'll get them next game. Uh, we'll get them next game. Uh, we, and then, you know, we look up and we losing. And, you know, we thought, we thought, and we should have, and we could have. But, man, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up. All I got to say is, let's get ready to repeat. Let's go, the mighty Los Angeles Lakers. And let's do this damn thing, man. Let's go out here and get this 3 P and shut up all the haters two more times. And I'm out. Question, does Kawhi have the best shot to stop LeBron? Is no. What? The floor is yours. What? <laughs> really? Oh, you know something, Max? Max Kellerman is hilarious. Let me get this straight. The best player in the world. Kawhi Leonard, your guy. The guy that's the best player in the world, Stephen A. Tom, I mean, please, he's the man. It's not LeBron. He's not the king. That dude, Kawhi Leonard, who left the Clippers. That's right. Go hide, Max. Wait a minute. Let me put an APB out for Max Kellerman. Where the hell is he? Where the, get, get your behind back here. Don't hide now. You got to be kidding me. Excuse me, Kawhi Leonard, who just got Serge Ibaka, who still has Paul George. He's got Ty Lue as a new coach. That's right. Show that face, Max Kellerman. Show that face. You got to be kidding me. You're going to sit up here with a straight face? I don't even give a damn about what your answer is. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe him. I can't believe you actually sat there with a straight face and said